guys, and welcome back to another Lost Bits video right here on Tetra Bay Gaming, where we explore the unused, scrapped, and unseen content in video games. So I've already made not one, but two Lost Bits videos on Sonic 2 a while ago, covering a bunch of unused stuff and the prototypes. But since then, a few new prototypes have surfaced, which we'll cover in this video. The sensor prototype, which was dropped earlier in 2019, as well as two more prototypes hot off the press that have been recently dropped by the awesome people at the Hidden Palace and the Cutting Room Floor. So this will be an update video of sorts to the previous Lost Bits, which you should definitely check out first if you haven't yet. Anyways, with all of that said, let's dive into some more prototype Lost Bits. Alright, so first let's get a quick timeline of all the currently known prototypes of Sonic 2. So before 2019, there were the Nick Arcade and Simon Y prototypes, as well as several internal beta builds with build dates ranging from September 18th to September 24th, 1992. Then recently, three more builds were discovered with build dates between the Simon Y and those internal beta prototypes. So let's go in chronological order and start with a prototype right after Simon Y. This prototype has a build date of August 21st, 1992, placing it about three months before the retail release of the game. Although many things remain the same from the Simon Y prototype, such as similarities in the title screen, the lava not working properly, and Tails' behavior, like making you lose rings if he gets hit. Like, what the hell, dude? That said, there are also several other notable changes here. First, and probably most importantly, is Sonic himself. His sprites have been updated from the previous build to match the one seen in the final release. Also, for some reason, when charging up a spin dash, not only does it make some weird sounds, but also after this, the rings will start making different sounds too. Next, the zone order was also changed from the Simon Y build. The order in Simon Y was Aquatic Ruin first, followed by Chemical Plant, Hilltop, and Emerald Hill at the end. But in this prototype, Aquatic Ruin and Emerald Hill swapped places, and Mystic Cave and Metropolis Zones were added after Hilltop. I guess this change might have been made since Emerald Hill is very similar in style to Green Hill Zone, and perhaps the developers wanted the player to start with a zone that felt more familiar. Hell, it was still even referenced as Green Hill Zone at this point. Now, let's talk bosses. Another sizable addition to this version is that a robotic battle has been added in Hilltop as well as Dust Hill Zone, which would later become Mystic Cave Zone. In both cases, the fights aren't quite finished. In Hilltop Zone, the screen lock for the boss fight hasn't even been implemented, so you're free to come and go as you please, and the fight area is also a bit different. While the screen does lock in the Dust Hill Zone battle, the fight is also lacking the falling stalagmites that the player normally has to avoid. Moreover, in both cases, Robotnik doesn't have any sound effects present, and also neither fight has the proper boss fight music implemented. Instead, the regular stage background music just continues. Also, the capsules still haven't been implemented in this prototype yet, so the stage will just end after defeating the good old Doctor. Then, as far as stages go, there are several other changes and improvements here and there, such as fixes to broken or soft lockable areas, and adding more detailed backdrops, like here in Casino Night Zone. Other than that though, unfortunately much of the other early game mysteries, like the Hidden Palace Zone, Genocide City Zone, and Wood Zone, all appear to be unchanged from the Simon Y prototype. Seeing as this build was three months before release, I don't really think these stages would have been worked on after this build, and since it's unchanged from Simon Y, I guess the only other possible way we might find these missing levels in a playable form is from some currently undiscovered prototype dated sometime between Nick Arcade and Simon Y. I suppose only time will tell if one is ever unearthed, but I certainly hope so, because I'd really like to see if there's more to these levels than what we currently know. Anyways, the last stage here to check out is the special stage, and yeah, this just happens. It appears to be the special stage from Sonic 1, but obviously not very easy on the eyes. And the last really notable thing that was first implemented in this build is none other than Super Sonic. 
Although not accessible in normal gameplay, you can turn into Supersonic by spawning in a question mark monitor with the game debug feature and then breaking it. Some things to note here are it's mostly just a palace swap with faster speed, as the supersonic features aren't implemented here yet, namely invincibility. At this stage, it still doesn't drain your rings. And finally, Sonic's color changing palette doesn't really work underwater, and he will just turn back to being blue. Oh yeah, and for some reason, when playing as supersonic, I couldn't get past this area here. I went back and checked, and yeah, it's fine with regular Sonic, but for whatever reason, it was just blocking me off as Super Sonic. Weird. Now moving along to the next and second prototype that was very recently dropped, this one has a build date of September 14th, 1992, placing it less than a month since the previous one, and just 9 weeks away from the final release. As you'd expect, several improvements and fixes were made in this iteration, though since it's only a few weeks since the previous one, they just aren't as numerous. Hey, you see that? Yup, it's a menu on the title screen. And this build is currently the first known one to finally feature it, while also keeping the old style background that was changed in the final version. The level select screen in this prototype still looks the same as the previous build, however this time, unfortunately the normally unused levels have all been scrubbed from the game, and are no longer accessible. And even though the hidden palace zone still appears in the level select, it too is no longer playable. Unless you call this playable, but I sure don't. Anyway, I guess this means that the decision to finally cancel these zones was made at some point between August 21st and September 14th of 1992. So again, if there is anything more to these scrap stages, it would have to be in a prototype from before this one. There are several other smaller changes here, such as different object placements in some areas such as in Wing Fortress, a lot more rings in Casino Night Zone, different behavior in the Robotnik fights, and oh yeah, the intro title cards were finally implemented in this build. And although all the stages can be played here, the last three, Sky Chase, Wing Fortress, and the Death Egg, can't normally be completed. Supersonic's functionality is also much further along in this build, as he now has invincibility. However, being supersonic still doesn't drain your ring count. The last major addition that was added in this prototype is the special stage. Right away, there are several changes we can note, such as this traffic light at the start, like something we'd see in an early Mario Kart game. Other smaller notable changes are the Sonic text here is still orange, the ring counter always has three digits, there are absolutely zero sound effects here. Only one special stage is present in this game, and it uses a color palette that isn't seen in the final game, and the sprites for the rings, as well as Sonic jumping, are also different here. Oh, and if for some reason you were planning to try and beat this special stage, clear your schedule because, well, you can't. The stage just loops infinitely, as nothing really happens when the timer runs out. The only way out of this digital hedgehog purgatory is to either take your time and collect 1,000 rings which will cause the game to crash, or, you know, you can just shut the game off. Lastly here, the 2 player versus mode was finally implemented in this build, for some levels. While Emerald Hill, Hilltop, Casino Night, and Mystic Cave look fine, the other stages just don't. I mean, even the ones that look okay had some graphical glitches, and Dr. Robotnik was reduced to four blue lines. Nice. As you know, boss fights aren't a thing in the versus mode in the final game, but I guess they still were in this build. Anyway, which levels work and don't work makes sense since those that do are the ones that are playable in the versus mode in the final game. So I guess it was around this time that they chose which few stages to work on for versus mode, and it explains why the other stages just don't look right. That said, Hilltop Zone isn't one of the playable versus stages in the final game. So it looks like it may have been planned to be one of those versus zones at some point, and my bets are it was replaced by the special stage. And last up for this video is the prototype that was publicly dumped in early 2019 that was originally leaked by Sensor, after which the prototype has been named after. This prototype is believed to have a build date anywhere from September 15th to 17th, 1992, and was apparently originally leaked two weeks before the game's release. 
but apparently people didn't care about unreleased prototypes back then. This build was supposedly first leaked with the intention of bypassing the game's copy protection measures with this intro screen, I guess so people could copy the game and spread it around. Being within only a few days between the previous build we covered and the next Beta 4, which has a build date of September 18th, I'll be honest with you, there isn't too much different in this build that I haven't already discussed either here or in my original Sonic 2 Prototypes video, but I'll quickly mention some of the highlights. For starters, the special stage now got some upgrades, such as Sonic's name being blue, as well as, you know, actually being beatable. Basically, all of the other changes are seen in the Sky Chase, Wing Fortress, and Death Egg zones, since I guess the obvious focus was on those levels at the stage in the game's development since they weren't completable before. That said, there are still several changes in the sensor prototype from the final release. The changes include things like removing some rings here and there, adding checkpoints, removing propellers, adding some cluckers, as well as fixing the Death Egg title card. Like I said, this build was really close to the next one, so it doesn't really have many changes that we haven't seen before, and I think the newly dumped September 14th prototype basically outshines this one. Regardless though, the more prototypes we have, the merrier, as we can get a better understanding of the game's timeline during its development. And that's pretty much where we're at with Sonic 2 as I'm making this video. It's a shame no crazy new discoveries were made with the likes of the Wood Zone and Genocide City Zone and such, so I'm hoping even more prototypes get unearthed soon. And I guess I'll be back with a fourth Sonic 2 Lost Bits video if and when that happens. Until then though, the fine folks at the Hidden Palace and Cutting Room Floor have also dropped a new Sonic 3 prototype, so expect a video on that soon. And as always, a huge thank you to both the Cutting Room Floor and the Hidden Palace for sharing these awesome prototypes with all of us. But with that concludes this third Sonic 2 Lost Bits video, and I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did, be sure to slap a like down below and check out my other Lost Bits videos, like the one I recently made on the new Sonic CD prototypes by clicking on the card right here. Also, be sure to swing by my other social media things, which are all linked below, and if you want to support the channel, check out my snazzy merch at tetrabitgaming.com, or consider becoming the latest member of the Bit Club. Click on the join button below for a list of perks and more information. Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in a bit.